My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Hearthstone Solo Adventures, in particular, the Monster Hunt in the Witchwood. We have the Tracker. That is not the Tracker. I played uh, a run with each of the characters off camera just to farm out the quests that gave you the Witchwood packs. But uh, I guess I abandoned this one halfway through. Uh, or rather, I am going to. That was actually quite a good deck. I'm a little sad to see it go, but that's not the character that we're playing right now, now is it? The thumbnail is very specific. It is Tess Greymane that we are playing today. Let me turn that down a bit on my side. That's very loud. Gobbles and the tracker. So I really do want to do like a full pickpocket build with the tracker or burgle build, or theft build, or class card build, or whatever you want to call it, right? I do want to do like a full version of that. Uh, but I do need to be a little more flexible in terms of just playing with the cards that are actually offered. Because I think my attempt to force Tess Greymane to have that build last time is basically what brought me down. literally just got in the door and I have to record this today, so... I'll give it a shot. The so there is that Job's done. I'm trying to get the shoes off. There we go. Because I sit cross-legged on top of the chair. It's a weird way to sit, but it keeps my back quite straight, which also keeps my chest very straight, so the lung capacity is there. It's, it's, it's all about projecting. The speaking voice. Uh, right. Is that a fan of knives? Sure, I'll draw a bunch of cards if you'd like. I just tried to hit E to end the turn. I am so, so spoiled by Slay the Spire. It's not a bad impersonation. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Uh, Sinister, Hero Power, gain the Sinister back, use the Sinister. Sure. And then play it once more. And then we can kill any number of ways next turn. Okay, well here's my favorite way. I'm gonna take the Glaive Zooka out. And I'm going to hit this, and then I'm going to end the turn. Draws Gobbles into Fatigue at the very start of their turn. Hell yes. Alright, show me the goods. Cult of the Wolf, you may lose your hero power twice each turn, it costs one less. That is super good. Crumbs. I think the thing that I actually want the most is Specialist. So Wanted Dead or Alive is deal three damage to a minion if it kills it, add a coin to your hand, as well as the cheap shot with the ability to echo. I mean, my hero power is any class card, right? So if I could take Sinister Strike, I should be able to take Cheap Shot back out and I should be able to take Wanted back out. And I should, no, 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 class card. So I won't be able to take the coin from Wanted back. I'm gonna take that. See if I can find a way to cheat Malagos out. Nero the Trickster, she plays with wee critters until they're big critters. The upgraders give all minions plus one plus one. So basically we need to flood the board, I guess, as soon as we possibly can, so that if they do happen to give all minions plus one plus one, this guy right here happens to get some of that buff. I don't think it's on auto cast though, it's not. Okay. Sure, I mean, this, yeah, th yes. Perfect. Wargan's exactly what we want here. Alright, we are going to need some other low-cost cards so we can actually activate the SI7 here. Something uh, something I could do is I could next turn Hero Power twice to Scavenge twice just to get two rocks uh, and then use one of the rocks on turn three as well as the SI7. 
Yeah, I think I actually do that. No, you played a card. Why did you do that? That's really mean. Hmm. How dare you? <sighs> I mean, I could just start sinister striking and pulling sinister strikes back out, and then sinister striking a bunch. More. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I was talking about it as a hypothetical, but it immediately became um. Actually, <laughs> I think that's gonna be what we definitely do. This is gonna be like a really cheap way to win way too many games. Six damage this turn. Or it could be, but I'm actually gonna clear the board there. Because Addled Grizzly is a really scary card. After you summon a minion, give it plus one, plus one. All I would need to do is just leave that on the board for a turn. You suddenly flood out a bunch of zero costs that you had in your hand for some reason, and I'm deceased. Still short on the kill. That's okay. Pretty sure there's no push cards in that deck. Or rather, the reach cards, or cards with reach. Did you really just do that to heal? No, but you could have healed by attacking here and... Mm. Okay. So if you did do it to heal, you're a moron. I'm gonna take Living Roots twice here and then use that for the kill, just for the ultimate BM. I think the fact that I get to use my hero power to discover a bunch of rocks super early, I can then just hold those rocks until I drop Malagos and then rock the face a bunch. That seems like it might be the thing to do. Okay. Well, look, like we could do the Jade Shuriken thing and it kind of looks like the only really acceptable option currently on the board. Ugh. All right. Cutthroat Willy, wanted for doing exactly as his name suggests. I made the lewd joke last time. I don't need to make it this time, but I think he's performed many breeze. Briss? How do, how do you pluralize briss? Brisses? I'm not familiar. Mm -mm. Garbage over the hand. I'm basically just looking for Jade Shuriken as soon as I can get it. Meh, all that. Give me those rocks. Small rock. So the, the idea is I play Malagos and then I just small rock the face for six damage a bunch of times. So I'm just trying to get as many rocks as is humanly possible before my opponent plays some sort of a spell and ruins this for me. Ah, counterfeit coin. How dare you. Um, I might expend one of the small rocks just to remove the Wargan Infiltrator here because that is damage. And this guy does have reach as well, which is frustrating. <laughs> this guy's Whatever I play is just gonna be instantly killed with the Shadow Blade. So I wanted to leave Hired Gun as a defense case I happen to need it at some point. So the counterfeit coin has been played, so I could hero power in order to gain two counterfeit coins, gain two counterfeit coins, and then I can use those to help me cheat out Malagos at a certain point. Sure. I'm basically determining whether or not I want to Jade Shuriken here. Another counterfeit coin, okay. They're always gonna be in the uh, pile for me, I guess. Yep. Well, here it's gonna be hired gun, hero power, hero power, gain two more counterfeit coins. 
One, two, three. Yeah. All right, this is good. So I guess we're actually going to do this in the way that I prescribed as soon as I'd uh, taken Malagos. Trade Prince Gallywigs here. I'm going to be slightly short on damage for lethal. Oh, no, I'm not, of course, because you're going to give me more coins. Thank you. There it is. And then we'll play Malagos, and then it's small rock for six damage, small rock for six damage, small rock Miyamideus for seven more damage from the Jade Shuriken for lethal. Dude got a lot of cuts. Both Gallywicks and Cutthroat Willy. All right. Give me another Malagos. Let me build my build around this. Bandage, restore all friendly minions to full health. They can attack again. Nah. Uh, destroy a minion and fill your hand with coins. Seems like that is goddamn insane. And reduce the cost of all of the cards in your hand by three. I mean, most of our cards cost less than that. So this seems like it would be wasted on me, in fact. I'll take the Gilnean Vigilante. And here I really don't have a choice. Do I? What if I take Kingsbane and then I use my hero power to gain the deadly poison a bunch more times? Oh no, but I don't have any way to fish for Kingsbane from my deck, right? That's what makes the Kingsbane deck work. The cabin shiny finders, the fact that you can pull the Kingsbane back out. Uh, so I guess I'm taking Jade in the rough and I've just got another Jade Shuriken in here. I did want to go for a different build, but it wasn't offered to me. Tortured loam, rise and raise both hearth and home. Who are we fighting this time? I think I should have known. Wrong. Okay. You grow all of the minions in your hand? The trail leads here. Mmm, cheap shots are not going to be that great for me. Oh no, you don't do that. You make a minion run back to a deck, don't you? Oh boy. Yes, you do. That's unfortunate for me. Well. Build is different now, I guess. Practice makes perfect. Oh, thank you for the taunt. It's very kind of you. Just generate a bunch of jade shurikens. Mm -hmm. Eh, I don't even want to waste my cheat. We'll use Glaive Zuka and then. Sure, I take six damage, but I've now got a Glaive Zooka generated. All right, we should generate a board here. Fool's Bane, unlimited attacks each turn, can't attack heroes. Quite, quite good, that. That's the other Jade Shuriken. Jade Spirit, Jade Shuriken in the face. Let's just... Let's just go. Is this a random minion? No, it's shuffle A minion. Okay. Well, the ease with which I can generate larger and larger minions pretty much dwarves this terrify. I don't just have lethal, do I? Four plus six is... Tw uh, no, I'm just short. Damn. And I'll have lethal this turn. Hell yes. Mountain giant don't impress me much. Face is the place, my friend. That's our fourth, I think, actually. I think we breeze through a bunch of those. I think that's our fourth. 
I can't tell. Okay, see, no. Three iron black pot, I guess. It was, the man wasn't to do that. Yeah, that was our fourth. Okay. Brushwood Centurion. Survival of the fittest. All minions attack random enemy minions. I've never seen this one before. All minions attack random enemy minions. So I guess... Like all of yours or all minions attack random enemy minions. So all minions attack minions that are mine. That could... That could be a problem. That could be a that could that could be a real no good. Turn back, intruder. Elven Archer, gang it up next turn. There was actually a reasonable play of Elven Archer just so that I could glaive Zuka next turn and have the damage generated on the field. I very clearly already decided to not go for that. I'm glad you used that for cycle, because if you generated a board first, that could be real bad news for me. I'm actually going to Elven Archer now and Glaive Zuko. Primary reason is hand size. I don't have the ability to just keep scavenging. Oh, in fact, I couldn't have kept scavenging. I would have gotten Commanding Shout. Oh, I'll take and use Commanding Shout. Should have thought of that. And I am going to use a small rock because it's really important I have the capability of drawing here. You'll one damage to a minion, then do it four more times. Well done. You've really taken that minion out. Well, Commanding Shout for a new card. I'll Sinister Strike. Next turn is my first IR, then the turn after my next IR. I could just want it, but oh gosh. You son of a... Oh, wait. Hang on. That's actually not even good. Oh, so it's all my minions that... Okay. That's not good for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, not good, not good. Guess I might cheap shot it. Um, I really do want to generate another Eye of Blackwall this turn if I can, though. The only way I can really afford to do that Three more Iron Black Paws. Let's go. Like I just rechose that last bucket. Didn't want to play that one first before you did the hero bell? Just saying. I really do need to start exhausting my hand. Because basically, I want my hand to be Malagos plus these two small rocks, maybe a fan of knives, not cheap shot, not wanted, but Gilnean activates, fills my hand with coins. Let me get some good things going on. Oh, do I have lethal this turn? Don't make me do lethal. I didn't even want to. I was having fun. Goodbye, Brushwood Centaurian. Goodbye forever.
Whew. Scepter of Summoning is appealing. Just because the Ayers would all decrease in cost by one and Malagos would decrease in cost by one, but I think that's not enough. I think it's Sticky Fingers, just hero power a bunch of times. <sighs> they cost less. This doesn't even have the... Oh, yes! Thank you! This is the build that I want. I mean, some two drops as well. I could have taken the Jade build there, but the Jade build is complete with just, this, just these Jade Shurikens. And that Jade uh, offering didn't have another Jade Shuriken. It had a Swarmer, it had a Spirit, and then it had Aya Blackpaw. And the Jade Shuriken is the only thing that I actually really want from the Jade bucket, because then I can just generate ridiculous amounts of Jades. I must save my children. Mm, don't need to, though. You could just let me, oh, I don't know, have all of them? If not, I will murder them. Mm -hmm. Got to decrease the cost of this small rock by one. It didn't start in my deck. I'm doing that generation there as well, by the way. Mm -hmm. Come, children. Ooh, this could be a rough turn. Because I wanted to keep a small rock in hand so that every single turn I had a small rock to activate the combos for the Jade Shurikens afterwards. But I might actually need to just use them now. Oh, never mind. Okay, it was Avenge. That's fine. Uh, if, if that was not popped there, I would have assumed it was competitive spirit. And as a result, I probably would have tried to, uh, tried to clear the entire board there. Could have just used my hero power to check it. Oh no, but I had to kill something first because I was going to use the hero power to gain back the Jade. That's why I didn't do it. That makes sense. Um, well, yeah, we can get a bunch of Jades out this turn. That's pretty good. Small rock. No! Take two of these jade shurikens. That is a competitive spirit. So life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a it's a duck blur. My children. I'm gonna leave the small rock. I think it's starting a chain and allowing me to summon more jades is going to be infinitely more valuable than just removing one, one, one there. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is that. Then that. And then... Like, this is... You can see why I'm doing this, I'm sure. Because it's garbage bollocks. It's insane. Summon a 1-1 one, one Whisper each card in your hand. Well, it costs four energy for you to play the card. Great ordering. It costs four energy for you to play the card where you sacrifice all of your Wisps and then gain control of the units on my board, uh, which is the card that I am obviously quite terrified of. As a result of my ridiculous terror of that card, I'm going to remove as many of the Wisps as possible, despite the fact that the Defender of Argus is worse. Okay. You decided not to hero power before you did the Soul Assimilation. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's your choice. I mean, I personally would have done it in the other order. It's just me. I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm a player in your AI. I just can't see the BM for the trees. Alright. We've played so many Jade Shurikens that Jade Shuriken is basically guaranteed to be an offering there, regardless. Which is pretty much what I'm relying on here. Talk about a nice shoot.
But this is probably going to be like a really, really easy way for me to win the tracker. But I don't know if it's going to be the most satisfying way to win the tracker. And I wonder if maybe they should remove the Jade Shuriken because we got this last run and we've got it this run. And I happen to know that like a lot of people use this as their particular build for... Glad I didn't attack with my largest minion first, despite the fact that it still wouldn't have done anything. I know a lot of people did this build for the tracker. So I think it might be too reproducible. I mean, I just did it last run and I'm doing it this run as well. Or maybe I'm wrong. That's possible as well, if not extremely likely. Uh, Falderai? I mean, probably? I, I don't really use minions. Sonya, and my hand is obviously almost always full. So Sonya is most of the time going to not give me a card because my hand is full, or it'll give me a Jade Golem, not a Jade Swarder. It'll give me a Golem. That's just not really useful for me. Scarecrow, his enchanted scythe drinks deep from every harvest. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Mm -hmm. The reaping will commence. All right, I will keep the Undercity there. Oh, uh, wait a second. Do I hear a pill? It's, it's actually, it's not that. Do I summon the Undercity Huck stuff? Because then I have to worry about building my opponent's board. Engage. Engage. Mm, this is a problem. Because my Jades are also going to gradually increase. And then the Scythe will gradually increase as it's destroying my Jades. Oh boy, I might have made a mistake. Yeah, this could be this, this, uh huh. <laughs> I like that comment. Reaped. Uh, yeah, this 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 could be this could be a pretty severe mistake on my part. Mm -hmm. Jade Shuriken. Got the small rock there to start the next chain. Now this is destroy a friendly minion, restore eight HP to yours. Okay, that's not too bad. We've also got the Razor Petal here, the Razor Petal Lasher to add low cost cards to my hand, which is gonna be super handy. Useful, be useful. All right, now double jade the face, because now it's just about generating minions. I mean, it's a one cost five five and then a one cost six six. If I sacrifice my 4-4 here, I guess I can kind of hold off the scythe a little bit. That's annoying. I guess I have to sacrifice my Sherizen. Sorry, sacrifice my Jade to kill the Sherizen. Uh, I'll warg an Infiltrator to start the... Never mind, I could have used two Jade Shurikens to kill the Sherizen. That's my bad. That's my bad for me. A little bit ditzy though. Okay. 
Yeah, we should be fine here now. So we have, what, uh, 23 on board? Yeah, there's no lethal here. Okay, not bad. Uh, take another Jade Shuriken, and then after that, uh, probably like a Jade Shuriken, maybe? I uh, know, I'm feeling like a, like a Jade Shuriken? Sacrifice you. You, we'll just deal the 15 to the damage, 15 damage to the face this turn. Just be as safe as we possibly can. I thought this foe was the, uh, the foe Reaper actually. But isn't the Foe Reaper in Monster Hunt? Or... One of the adventures? I think it is. So we defeated the Scarecrow. I think it killed me last time, so I'm quite pleased about that. Oh no, it didn't kill me last time because I remember the end line of it saying Segmentation Fall. Oh, okay. Summon a random three-cost minion. Upgrade this and shuffle it into your deck. Scythe doesn't lose durability. When you kill a mi uh, minion with a weapon, gain one attack. See, the thing is, I don't really use weapons in this build, so I could theoretically take the Scythe. But our build is like all Jade Shuriken. So I think basically what we need to do is just wait somehow until the Jade Shurikens are active. So I think the best way to do that is just to have a hard removal spell there. <laughs> Rapid Fire? You know what? I think, though. Like, Cold Light Oracle to help me dig for my Jade Shuriken. Arcane Giant will be free most of the time for me. And Violet Teacher is just going to generate a bunch of 1-1s while I'm trying to get my build together. We could do that or the Professional. I'm actually going to take the Rapid Fire. The Professional is probably, like, more solid, but Rapid Fire is more interesting. Your vengeance is at hand. I give you the Gilnean Princess. Draw a weapon from your deck. So... This is really unfortunate because I think, like, RNG is going to take a ridiculously large role in this. And what I mean by that is this guy has his King's Bane and all of his weapons buffs, right? So if he draws his weapons buffs early, I'm probably just dead. <laughs> like, non-negotiably? I thought we were dead. Aye, it be the daughter of a king that done us in. And the other thing I was going to say is I'm going to need Jade Shuriken super early. Otherwise, I am definitely dead. Uh, but we have it already, so. That part, at the very least, we've achieved. What, what better vengeance than to claim you for my crew? Don't play a weapon buff, 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 don't play a weapon buff. 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 Yeah, you didn't. I love it. I need to get more small rocks because I use them to start my Jade Shuriken turns. So even though I could have done small rock Jade Shuriken that turn, that's not what we needed to do. We needed to generate some more small rocks. Freak. That is rough who oh boy to the bottom of the sea two cards and then shuffle a copy of your hand into your okay there's a bear shark left in the deck now Probably two copies, let's be honest. Can I kill the Clockwork Giant this turn? Small Rock and... Yes? Small Rock, Shuriken. And gain a shuriken back. I play that one. Unfortunately, I am going to have to follow it with small rock and elven archer just to remove that from the board. 
but it does need to be removed from the board. I'm taking way too much damage. As soon as this guy starts pumping up his weapon, I'm dead, right? So... And you know what? Let's get these Jade cards played. Even though my opponent now has a Surly Mob and has the ability to remove one of these. Yeah, we needed a board. Like, look at what just got generated. We needed to have a board already. So I didn't realize this guy was super anti-spell. That, I guess should have guided my uh, earlier plays. Add a razor petal to your hand? Was it? Huh, I could have sworn it gave two. Oh no, it's the spell that gives you two. Of course. Perfect. Whenever your opponent plays a card, remove the top three cards of your deck. Well, we can play like a, a frankly degenerate amount of cards in a turn. Okay, is there any way I can use Wanted to kill this turn? So, Razor Pedal, Shuriken, Wanted. So, I would need to pitch in two more damage by myself. But I may as well do that. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Uh, ba. I'm a moron, obviously. What I should have done is do all of the other cards first, burn more cards. It's probably not going to make a difference, but the whole point was to try and burn as many cards as I could that deck, uh, that turn, while having the best turn I could. And I uh, pretty viciously mucked that one up. one as well so on board i have 15 two ways of 30 so i don't have 10 damage in hand which means i don't have lethal so i can echo three times echo Oh no, I can echo a bunch more times, of course, because the echoes didn't start in my deck, so they come out with extra urgency. I guess I am just straight up trying to burn out the rest of his deck at this point. Sure. Yeah. Oh, there goes the angry mob as well. Another Fell Reaver. I think that's actually how you straight up are supposed to win by removing his entire deck. Because if he's got more than one copy, uh, more than two copies, rather, of the Fel Reaver, it's there not for flavor, it's there for the mechanic. Oh, that's a risky play. If you had a Fel Reaver on the board, we could actually just burn the King's Bane, at which point the enemy is just completely null and all void. Speaking of, though, got him. Hell yes. I mean, this is my second run with Tess, and we won. I won my first run with the Tracker, uh, not Tracker, sorry, the uh, Toki Time Tinker and the Cannoneer. So the only one I have left actually complete is the Houndmaster. But I am going to play next episode the Cannoneer and then the Houndmaster and then Toki Time Tinker. And when I finish a rotation and all of them have had a success, then I'll go to the final challenge. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Hearthstone Monster Hunt. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.